Hello YouTubers and welcome to my time lapse video of installing the EK water block on the reference NVIDIA GTX 980. First you're going to unscrew the four screws closest to the GPU die. Next, look to the I.O. side of your graphics card for the additional screws you need to remove. Next, continue to remove all the screws securing the backplate to the GPU cooler. A few screws on the backplate were installed so tightly that by using conventional hand tools I ended up stripping the screw heads, so in order to remove the screws, I had to use a power drill to drill off the heads. If you have to do this, remember to go very slowly. Continuing with the water block installation, there are two more screws located very close to the GPU die that were previously covered by the backplate that need to be removed. Now you can clear the thermal paste off of your GPU just like you would for a CPU by using Q-tips or a paper towel and isopropyl alcohol. After the thermal paste has been removed, it's time to cover the VRM modules and the MOSFETs with thermal pads. Some of them have been pre-cut, others you will need to cut yourself. After applying the thermal pads, apply thermal paste to your GPU, just like you would for a CPU, only use a small dab in the middle. Now to put the actual block on itself, align the standoffs on the water block with the holes on the PCB and let it fall gently over the GPU. You don't want to press down too hard because GPU dies are prone to cracking. <music> 
before attaching your backplate, use the four longest screws and plastic washers included with your water block to secure the water block to the GPU. Align the backplate holes with the holes on your PCB. Now you can begin securing the backplate to the water block by screwing into the standoffs. For holes that don't align over a standoff, you'll have to use a bolt with a nut and a plastic washer. This shot shows where I had to use a power drill to break off a screw head and my inability to get a new screw into it because the backplate broke. The last part to add is the backplate cover and this requires a slightly longer screw than the ones you've been using to regularly secure the backplate to the water block. After all the screws are installed, I will double check their security with one more pass. Finally, we have the completed product ready to drop into our water cooling loop. Thank you guys very much for watching, my name is David and I will see you next video.